Hey everyone, thanks for checking in. So I moved here in September of 2022. Now it's March of 2023 at the time of this recording. So I thought I would do a six month review of my opinion and experience of living here in the villages. I'm not gonna talk about the house. I got a couple videos about that and a couple more coming. This is more about the overall vibe of living here in the villages and my thoughts on it so far. So one of the things I really, really love about the villages is the cleanliness, the orderliness of everything. All the common areas are beautifully kept and maintained. All the landscaping around here is gorgeous. The villages really does a good job from the north to the south. It is really beautiful no matter where you live in the villages. All the neighborhoods are really nice and clean. 99.9% .9 of the neighbors really take a lot of pride in their yard and landscaping and the exterior of their homes. So there's a lot of pride here in how nice and clean that we keep the villages. Uh, when you're driving down the roads, you don't see pollution or trash on the side of the roads or anything like that. I mean, occasionally you might, but usually it gets picked up right away. It's really pretty around here. I think that's one of my favorite things about the villages. It's how nicely landscaped, manicured everything is. All the intersections have flowers, you know. It's, the palm trees around here are gorgeous. The way they designed the layout of the community flows really beautiful from uh, one end to the other. And it's just a real lovely place to walk around, drive around, and experience how nice and clean and orderly it is. So that's one of my favorite things. Obviously, I love the weather here in Florida, especially here in Central Florida. The week I moved here, Hurricane Ian rolled in, and we were fortunate enough here in the villages to uh, not receive too much damage, at least that I'm aware of. I'm not aware of any homes that were you know, damaged or destroyed here. I don't think there were any. If there were, my heart goes out to you, but I think because of our central location, we were pretty fortunate. So other than that, it's sunny and beautiful all the time. And I know it gets hot here in the summer. My lifestyle visit was here in the summer in July of 2022. But I love the heat. One of the reasons I moved down here is because I look forward to those hot summers. Now, I know a lot of people think I'm crazy, but I prefer the heat. I could live in the desert. This is just something that I love about Florida. I like the kind of tropical feel. The winters here are unbelievably nice. This is my first winter here and it is just perfect weather. It's probably in the 70s and 80s most of the time and sunny. I, I can't believe how nice it is here. So obviously the weather is one of the great factors about living here and I imagine that's probably one of the biggest draws of moving to Florida. Location is amazing. We're about an hour and a half or an hour from Orlando. About an hour drive to the airport something like that hour 20 minutes uh, Disneyland is like an hour and a half away you know you can get to the nature coast and the Gulf in about an hour you can get to Daytona in about an hour the really nice high-end beaches are about an hour and a half two hours away I really like Longboat Key Sarasota area Siesta Key Beach is I don't know two and a half hours two hours away and that's you know, one of the highest rated beaches in the world. So we're, it's a really cool location. You get to a lot of cool stuff here uh, from the villages. I really love the active lifestyle here in the villages. If you're bored in the villages, it's 100% your fault. There is a million things to do in the villages. I'm surprised at how affordable the amenity fee here is. And no matter what part you live, it's gonna be, I believe, under $200 for your amenity fees, depending on when you buy. I think they're all under $200, which is a bargain. But you get so much for that. The rec centers here are great. You have a wide variety of pools, and every neighborhood is close to a rec center and a pool, no matter where you live in the villages. And and there's several different types of pools. I like that they have separate family pools, adult pools, athletic aquatic sports pools. So I think they did that really smart. There's pickleball courts everywhere. There's tennis courts everywhere. It's really fulfilling to live here if you're an active person. The multimodal paths, which are for golf carts, road bikes, and pedestrian traffic are really nice and they're all over the place here in the villages and I use them all the time. I love taking my trail bike from my house to Spanish Springs. I used a multimodal pass so I get to stay off in the main roads and I'll stop along the way and enjoy a nice lake or look at the gators and it's just wonderful here. So if you like to walk, if you like driving your golf cart around, if you like taking your road bike, 
bike or trail bike out for a ride, this is the place to do it. And there's nothing steep here. Like there's absolutely no mountains or anything like that. So uh, riding a bicycle around here is real easy to do because it's mostly flat. If you're older, but you still want to do some cycling, this is a great place for that. I love the squares. So if you know about the villages, you know a big draw here is the several squares that we have, mainly Spanish Springs, Sumter Landing, Brownwood Paddock, uh, Sawgrass Grove, and then a new one being built, Eastport, which is coming in a few years. Everyone's within minutes of a square, which has live entertainment every night, unless it's really crazy weather. There's always something going on in these squares. The third Saturday of every month is this really amazing cruise-in car show at Spanish Springs. All the squares have different activities. It might be arts and crafts, or a flea market type or all kinds of vendors coming. There's always something going on at one of the squares and if not, they're just great places to walk around and shop and get some live music. Every night is a party in the villages. Every one of the squares, you'll find people dancing, music playing. Typically it's oldies mixed in with classic rock and every now and then you'll get a cool 80s vibe going. And uh, but it's really, really good here. So if you like live music, this is the place to live. You know, some people, they say when you move here, you'll get sick of going to the square and blah, blah, blah. I like going to the square. I go there just about every day because my gym is on the square at Spanish Springs. So I go to the Genesis Health Club on Spanish Springs, get my workout in, and then I'll go park the golf cart somewhere around the square and listen to the band. And that's how I unwind. And then I'll head home. So. Uh, I have yet to get sick of the music here, and I love seeing people dancing and having fun. It's a really good vibe. So if you like live entertainment, this is the place to be. The Villages is mapped out really good. So you can get anywhere in the Villages in about a half an hour from one end to the other. So no matter where you live in the Villages, you have access to all the amenities and all the squares and all the entertainment. And actually the squares are open to the public, so anybody can go and enjoy the live music and uh, the restaurants and all that kind of thing we have here in the villages. So no matter where you live in the villages, it's easy to get from point A to point B. Now, you might want to take a car if you're going to the other end of the villages because it might take forever to take your golf cart, you can do it. But for example, if I want to go down to Brownwood, I live up near Spanish Springs. If I want to go down to Brownwood, I'll typically take my car or motorcycle and head down there. Anything up north like Lake Sumter or Spanish Springs, I can do in my golf cart or even take my bicycle. Everything is close by. I'm retired military so I use the VA clinic. If you're a retired military person, there is a VA clinic here in the villages at the north end. They've taken care of all my needs there without ever having to go to a main hospital. So I'm really impressed with the VA clinic. If you're a military member thinking of moving to the villages, definitely look into that. They might be able to offer you the services you need. So the VA clinic is five, 10 minutes from my house. If you live in the south end of the villages, it might take you a half hour at most to get to the VA clinic. The way the main roads are laid out, there's a lot of roundabouts and some people hate the roundabouts, some people love them. I like the roundabouts, I think it keeps the flow of traffic. I wish people would go a little slower in there because sometimes it can get pretty hairy with golf carts and vehicles and everybody flying around the circles, so. If you're new to the villages, be careful about dealing with the roundabouts, but they do keep the flow of traffic going. The villages is very friendly. It's sometimes referred to as America's friendliest hometown or something like that. And I kind of agree with that. I have not had a negative run with anybody. When you go sit down at the square and enjoy some entertainment or at a restaurant, there's always people that'll say hi, or if they're sitting next to you, they'll want to get to know you, which is really friendly. It's really nice around here. Everyone has been positive. All the neighbors have been wonderful. Everywhere I go, it's just people wanting to talk and share and get to know each other in a very nice, casual atmosphere. You know, I'm a positive person. I love optimistic type people, and there's a lot of that here. So, you know, we're all getting close to retirement or at retirement at this point in our lives let's just enjoy it all right let's move on to the stuff that's not so great and like i just mentioned i'm a pretty optimistic guy i hate getting negative i don't like being around negativity i want to be honest with you guys and also i'm curious on what you guys think about the good and the bad so number one thing to me is that i think is 
not so great is the lack of mountains. My last house uh, was in the Blue Ridge Mountains and I lived actually on top of one of the mountains with views for as far as you could see of the Blue Ridge, gorgeous sunsets. I miss that. I do miss seeing you know more terrain than what we have here in Florida, which is pretty much flat as a pancake. So if you're one that has to have mountains is a little hard to swallow here. There are zero mountains in Florida. Granted, it's a trade-off between living in the mountains and the weather here in Florida. So maybe it's a wash, but I do miss seeing uh, mountains. And being a motorcyclist, I used to love carving through the curvy roads of the Blue Ridge and the beautiful mountain scenic roads at high elevations and stuff like that. So I kind of miss some of that, but uh, I'm getting used to it because the weather here is pretty nice. Another thing that I don't like is power lines. Power lines drive me crazy. I know we need them and I'm, I'm grateful that we have electricity in, in this amazing country, as accessible as, as electricity is around here. But the power lines really take from the beautiful sunsets and things like that. They're not everywhere and there's certain spots in the villages where you can drive without seeing them. But if you drive more than five or ten minutes, you're going to run into them. Probably in your neighborhood somewhere lurking. Sometimes they go right through the golf course and they're monstrosities. These things are huge and they're all over Florida. So I guess that's part of living in a state that's flat. That part kind of gets to me because I've always had kind of a angst towards ugly power lines but i know we need them i appreciate having the service and gridley's starting to go crazy again i think i better feed him and i'll be right back okay i'm back where was i let's see power lines all right we talked about that gyms we got all these beautiful rec centers here all over the villages and i haven't found one with a good weight room or a weight room I like to lift weights. I know not everybody else does, but a lot of people do, including older folks. So there is a gym here in Spanish Springs. I know there's one in Brownwood, but they're expensive. I think they're expensive. I'm paying $85 a month for my membership. I mean, I'm glad they have a gym here. I just wish it was part of our amenity fees and maybe they don't have it in there because obviously it would affect the memberships and maybe there's some sort of contractual thing or something. I really don't know. I'm just assuming, but it would be nice with all these beautiful rec centers if they would have weights in there you know or elliptical machines and that i'm not talking about the outdoor type but legitimate indoor weightlifting equipment for those of us that still like to lift weights at least you can get a gym membership here ah uh, the bond let's talk about the bond i can't wrap my brain around a bond I almost bought a new home here. Same size as this house, same exact price as this house, and it was new. This house is 21 years old, but that new house had a bond on it, and it was like $27,000 or 30 grand. And I thought, what on earth? Why would I do that? Why not just buy an older home and put that bond, that, that money into it and make it the way I want it? Because that new home still didn't have the best of everything in it. It was generic so you know I struggle with that I still think about it a lot should I have bought that new home in, in the newer neighborhoods and all that kind of stuff so I don't know now I am thinking if I stay here buying down in Eastport when it becomes available and I know that bond's probably going to be off the charts I don't know I kind of wish instead of charging a bond just charge more for the house it would make more sense why is a new house the exact same price as my old house but then you attach this bond to it almost seems like a marketing thing thing like because now obviously they can sell their houses for cheaper but is it really cheaper if you're paying that bond and that bond is putting in new facilities and amenities that I get to use and I didn't have to pay a bond because I bought an older home I don't know how I feel about that what do you guys think about it is it worth it I can't say that because you know what if it's worth it to you to get the house you want that makes you happy then it's worth it right so I get it so I, I don't know I got to change my paradigm on it but when I first got here I was new to the villages never even heard of the villages before my lifestyle visit so I'm like okay it's kind of shocked me or sticker shock kind of thing I said I'm not paying a bond it sounded like a tax or something to me but now that I live here okay I kind of go along with it if, if it helps the community I might rethink that if I sell this house and buy a new one like I said I'm thinking Eastport looks pretty interesting so and that's gonna be ready right about when I'm ready to retire because I do work from home still but in a couple years I'll be I'll be ready to retire maybe that's the place I don't know 
if I stay here. There's a part of me that still misses the mountains and stuff so much that I might move. I don't know yet. I do love the villages, but I also love areas like Sedona, Arizona, Colorado Springs, Moab, Utah. I love all of those places out there. However, the lifestyle here is unmatched so far. So I would really have to do my homework about that. I don't know how I drifted back onto that subject. What were we talking about? The bond. So I don't know. Maybe those other places have bonds too. I just never heard of it till I came here. So it kind of turned me off a little bit. What do you guys think about that? Another thing I think is kind of strange here is the price variation in homes. Even like, so there's homes here that are under 200,000. And then there are some homes here that are a couple million. Well, I don't see that drastic of a difference in the homes. They're smaller. They're still right next to each other. They call it a view, but it's really a golf course or there might be a pond behind your house with a neighbor on the across from you on that pond or a row of houses. So is that a view? I don't know if that's a stunning view to me. That's worth a million dollars more for only a couple hundred square more foot of house. So I don't know. I'm not so... <laughs> There goes Gridley again. Let me take care of Mr. Gridster and I'll be right back again. Okay, we're almost done here. What I was talking about between the houses and the variations and prices between a high-end house and a more affordable house, there's not that dramatic of a difference, I feel, to justify those expenses. However, I don't know. If the oil check comes in, and I can buy a $3 million house in their villages. Maybe when I see it, it'll change my view and say, oh, it is pretty spectacular. So we'll see how that goes. But as for right now, I can't justify the variation in costs there. It's pretty extreme. All right, lastly, um, I want to talk about outside the bubble. You know, there's a contrast from living inside the villages to when you leave. So we're so used to the orderliness, the cleanliness of everything, the manicured, spotless lawns, common areas and roads and everything and shopping centers. But when you leave the bubble, it seems a lot less kept up. It seems like there's a sharp contrast between how nice things are in the villages and how the appearance is outside, less kept up and things like that. I'm not knocking any of those neighborhoods, I'm just saying. Whenever you don't have rules and regulations on maintaining your properties, they can become dilapidated or the areas can not be as kept up as nice or the same. We have very strict rules here in the villages that keeps everything pretty feels like the second you leave the villages especially depending on what parts you leave it all of a sudden looks not as kept up it would be nice if we had a broader reach to help the surrounding community be nicer and cleaner and more landscaped is nice and all those kind of things it just feels like the minute you leave the bubble it just drops off it's safe and friendly i'm just saying the in the appearance of it the Villages is a beautiful place. All right, so to sum it up, it's a great place to live. There's lots of stuff to do. It's very friendly. I love living here in the Villages. I haven't made up my mind if I'm going to stay here the rest of my life. But for now, at this point in my life, it's really cool. And I can see why people do stay here the rest of their lives. It is a wonderful place to live. I'm not a realtor. I'm giving you my honest perspective on things and sharing a little bit of my experience here in the Villages. Anyway, thanks for uh, watching, subscribing like and share and all that good stuff you guys are great take care of each other out there we'll catch you on the next video all right see you